What's going on, Automation Nation? It's Justin Morgan here of AutomationMastery.net. And today, 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 I want to be able to help you, as I usually do, automate your business, master your destiny, and maximize your impact. I think we're going to go with maximize, y'all. I think that uh, master your impact, I don't think that works as as good or as well as maximize. Just a side note. Hope everybody's doing well. And today I was just reflecting on the fact that I've been crazy busy. Right now it's it's late after 11 o'clock. I'm recording this episode. Uh, Just got the baby. I have a five-month-old. Just got on the bed about 20 minutes ago um, after a long day, you know, working the day job and getting home, uh, working, you know, making sure the son, older, my oldest, uh, gets to bed and trying to take care of the youngest one and trying to do a live stream and trying to sit down and get work done has been a challenge. So here I am about 11 o'clock or so just sitting down to get actual work, work done, uh, you know, recording this. So I did a live stream earlier before real brief because the little one wouldn't go to sleep. And now I am working. Now I can tell you that as a busy entrepreneur, as a budding entrepreneur, a guy who's on a journey to grow a business, I mean, working a full time job, being married, having two kids, it's a grind. And so one of the things that the terms that get thrown out there is multitasking, right? Multitasking. And I just know that that whenever I try to get a lot of things done at one time, like it doesn't always work out the best. Like there are some cases where, you know, I can drive and do a podcast at the same time um, that that I could be successful. But, you know, I'm a life hacker. Right. So I'm always trying to find a way to save time, save energy, save effort. And, of course, still get stuff done. So I, of course, I'm always trying to find a way to do this in business. And that's really what I'm trying to figure out. And so I can I remember, you know, it's kind of looking back at all the systems that I had and things I was trying to accomplish. I'm always trying to think, you know, how can I leverage myself better? And what tool can we use to replace something? And that's really the power of automation, right? So when I was first kind of on this binge of trying to systematize my business, I used to go out there and get a bunch of different tools. Now you go out here and you buy one thing, spend a ton of money and get another thing, spend a ton of money, spend another thing and get a ton, spend a ton of money. And you kind of felt like you're all over the place, right? Like I was just spending all this energy in a bunch of different places and I'm trying to spreading out the learning curve, right? So I have to learn this one piece of software, then learn this other piece of software, then another one and another one. I mean, it's worked out in the long run as I'm sitting here, you know, being a, a kind of a tricks of all trades when it comes to understanding different pieces of software. Um, So it's worked out in that regard. But at that time, it was very limiting, right? It was like multitasking, where I just wasn't like if I'm multitasking at home, like today, I was trying to, you know, trying to feed the baby at the same time, trying to listen to something on YouTube, and I've tried that before. So sometimes I have to shut off the stuff on YouTube I'm listening to because I just can't, I can't really think about what they're saying and get get what I need to get done. Right? I can't be constructive in both. I felt that way in business. Right? I, just, I had all these different pieces of software. I'm trying to connect the, connect them all together, trying to learn them. I just felt like I wasn't being effective at any of them. Okay. Now, when I discovered though, then I discovered and I was looking. And I found this site it was called Builderall. Now I've tried a bunch of different services, right? I've tried, I've tried Wix. I've, t- I've tested out Wix. I had Weebly for a little bit in terms of my website builder. Um, you know, I tried investing in all these other platforms. I tried to use WordPress and use different plugins. And after all that stuff, I discovered Builderall. Now, Builderall was kind of like the unicorn, right? Is in that I finally found something that allowed me to do almost everything in one place. Like it was the unicorn. So when I say unicorn, as in um, 
most people think of multitasking or something that can do multiple things at one time is a bad thing. But this was the one thing where I was finding had a lot of different stuff and did them semi well. It still needed some work, but ultimately did almost everything. And if it didn't at that point, I was confident that it would. Now, I, I found Builderall and, you know, Builderall didn't work out as well as I would like to. I still own it and I'm still hoping that it kind of turns the corner. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Um, but it's, it's an intriguing platform, okay, that I own very economically as I got in early. But it made me think and focus more on the concept of a all-in-one platform, right? The power of having a tool and a system that can actually accomplish most things in business, right? So can it can create pages, you can create websites, you can do email marketing, you can um, do use some Facebook tools, some chatbot type things, some pop-ups, like it lets you do a lot of different things, e-commerce, memberships, um, you know, I can sell products, sell programs. Like Again, the potential there is amazing. So I saw this thing, I had to get it. Now, after I moved on from that, I continued my search for the all-in-one. So I found a ton of other platforms that were close to being all-in-one. Some of them well-known. Um, some of them I, I, you've probably never heard of that I found that, you know, I may talk about one day if I go, you know, remember the names. Um, but there are a lot of other little platforms out there who could be considered all-in-one platforms, meaning they uh, have a, a bunch of different tools that essentially allow you to do everything in your business. So it's kind of like multitasking all on the same platform. So that film overwhelm, that film like I'm spreading it to yourself thin, doesn't feel the same when you're just using tools all on the same platform, if that makes any sense. So as you get ready to systematize your business, you want to automate your business. Uh, again, just think about how you feel when you're multitasking. You don't want your platforms and your technology to feel the same way. So you may want to consider looking into an all-in-one system like a builder all. Go check it out for yourself. Uh, I personally now use ClickFunnels. That's what I use. Um, you can get a lot done with ClickFunnels. I, I use some other tools in conjunction with it, but I don't really have to. Okay, ClickFunnels is really good by itself. So that's what I got this week. Uh, make sure you check out ClickFunnels if you want. Uh, check out any other tool, build or all, anything I've mentioned in this episode. Um, they'll, they'll all do you good depending on you know if they work for you. So test them out, see if they work for you or not, and make a decision. If you have questions, send out a message or email to support at automationmastery.net. Support at automationmastery.net. If you're over on Anchor, you can go ahead and send a message on there, and I will answer your question. Okay? So that's what I got. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you share this with a friend, family member, or a foe because they need this information too. I will see you in the next one. And remember to treat each day as a building block to a better future. Peace.